in tonight. This is it? It's probably not a question you have to ask yourself. Where are you staying tonight? But for many of our homeless in the community, finding a place is a battle every day. But it's not a battle they fight alone. The city's firefighters do so much more than put out flames. All this week in our special report, In Their Shoes, we've been trying to give you a picture of the problem and a possible solution. In tonight's story, our Nikki Torres shows us how the fire department helps. We see the homeless community through our eyes as someone who simply lives here. We see them panhandling on the street corners. We also see them sleeping on the concrete under bridges. So tonight, we want to give you a different perspective. We're going to give you the look through the eyes of a first responder who's seen it all. Watch. It all starts with a simple greeting and a question. Hey, good afternoon. How you doing? Hey, guys. Anybody home? Hi. How are you? That's what we noticed when okay? we spent one afternoon yeah. with Spokane Fire Who Chief Brian Schaefer to talk here. about the city's homeless community. Oh, so Little did we know, where we'd find the homeless was as open-ended as that question. We started the trip by visiting one of Spokane's only shelters open during the day. Amount of square footage in here, just honestly, uh, how tight it is. People on the ground sleeping body to body. We're essentially using spaces that were never designed to serve as, as temporary housing. Schaefer says the city has to modify housing just to meet the need of Spokane. A lot of us are, are blessed to have uh, a home a place to put stuff, a garage. Uh, a lot of the people that, that we're dealing with here, we're trying to bring all that with them. We get in the car again, this time driving by Fish Lake Trail, finding a woman living in her car. Again, Chief Schaefer asks a question. You just by yourself? No. Got oh. my son and two dogs. We learn this woman isn't in a shelter for a reason that sounds familiar. Is there anything we can do for you? Have you checked uh, with any of the 24-hour shelters? They're all full. They are? That's kind of what we're hearing. Yeah, we get run off from here, we move around. Again, we're in the car. The trail is full of urban campers. And we find more homeless camps. We are standing in the city of Spokane, but in an unincorporated area in Spokane, just right off of Fish Lake Trail. They live like you and I do. I mean, their, their path is clearly shoveled. They have a restroom area. They have their own uh, capability for staying warm and for cooking. Make no mistake, this living environment is not safe for anyone. There is no address on this on this encampment. This is just, you know, essentially a lot long, and our firefighters have to go through the trails, dodge the areas of concealment to try to locate and take care of these people. We hop in the Spokane fire car one more time here. We find a homeless man sleeping under a bridge. Where are you staying tonight? This is it? This is where we learn that that same car we've been jumping in this whole trip is a homeless resource all on its own. What about a bus pass? Would it help you if you had a couple bus passes to get you out of here? All of our fire companies in the system, myself included, any fire department car always carries uh, $100 cash and uh, bus passes. While each one of these situations start with a simple greeting, they all end with a goodbye. Take care. Walking away, wondering what will happen next. According to Spokane Fire, the day-to-day -day help that they give the homeless is merely just a band-aid. In order to solve the homelessness issue that we have in our community, we're going to need help from all corners of Spokane. Reporting in Spokane, I'm Nikki Torres, KXLY, 4 News.